Hello, Eagles fans. Chris McPherson here. We're pleased to be joined in the studio by the Eagles' newest running back, Martel Mallette. Martel, talk about how exciting it is to be a Philadelphia Eagle. Oh, man, I'm very excited. I mean, I, I, I've been waiting all my life to get a get a chance to play in the NFL, and I'm just I'm just great to be a, you know I'm just grateful just to be an Eagle and, and to be on the NFL team. Talk about your year in Canada, where you were the rookie of the year. You rushed for 1,280 yards, six touchdowns. How great of a season was that for you up in Canada? It was great. I mean, I just came in with, uh, you know, determination, and, and I came to work hard every day, and, um, you know, it all paid off at the end. And, I'm, again, I'm just glad to be an Eagle right now. Martel, when you look at guys who previously played for the BC Lions, guys like Cameron Wake, who was drafted by the Dolphins in the supplemental draft, did you think of yourself as this could be another way for you to get to the NFL? Exactly. All I wanted was an opportunity when I came to the CFL, and, uh, you know, uh, windows opened up, and I just, you know, I ran with it, ran with the opportunity. Now, Martel, you can also catch the ball in the backfield, which everyone knows the Eagles offense predicates that for the running backs. You had 43 receptions in your rookie season. Talk about how you were able to develop that ability to catch the ball out of the backfield as well as run at the same time. I mean, to be a complete back, I know you have to be able, not only be able to run the ball well, but be able to catch and block. So, you know, I just try to work hard on that in the offseason and give it, you know, former quarterbacks and, and work on my uh, hands during the offseason. Martel, six foot, two hundred ten pounds. When we saw some of the highlights from your year in Canada, definitely a north-south runner, a little bit of a punisher. Uh, also, a nifty cut uh, that you have as well. Just talk about that ability and what you hope to bring to the Eagles. Hey, I mean, uh, whatever they want me to do, I just I'm gonna just come in and I'm gonna work hard every day. And if they want me to play whatever position, I'll do whatever I can do, I can do to uh, help out the team. I, I just want to help the team out. Martel, you rushed for almost 2,900 yards and 27 touchdowns at Arkansas Pine Bluff. Talk about your college career and, and how disappointed you were when you ended up not getting drafted or, or signed afterwards by any of the NFL teams. I mean, you know, I, I think I had a pretty good college career. I know I could have did better, but, you know, I had a couple of uh, setbacks and I, I kind of understood why, you know, the teams were a little questionable about me, but you know, uh, now I'm on uh, an NFL team I'm with the Eagles, and I'm just proud to be an Eagle. Martel, what were some of those setbacks? What were some of the reasons that teams gave for not deciding to draft you or sign you? Well, I had a, a little injury with my uh, pec muscle, and I wasn't able to uh, run the 40 uh, in a fast enough time during the pro days. It just happened at a bad time. And um, for BC, I just, um, you know, I just, I just got my strength back, regained my strength, and I, I ran a pretty good. 40, and, uh, you know, that was pretty much the reason, you know, why I um, missed my opportunity. Just talk about playing in Canada, and how different was it in terms of playing on the college level, and what was it like getting used to uh, living in another country? Oh, uh, man, it, it, was a, it was a lot different coming from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and going to a big city like Vancouver, you know, British Columbia, but, um, I mean, it, it was great. Football is football. I, you know, I just came out determined and ready to work every day and you know it all just paid off now you had a tryout with the rams that i read also uh what made you finally decide to stick with the eagles i mean the eagles are a great organization um they have a great foundation already set and um i mean i think it was just uh the, the best opportunity for me to excel when you look back at the decision to go to canada and play football do you realize how great the decision was now looking back on it yeah, I mean, it gave a, a a lot of people a chance to see me, you know, on the, on the bigger stage, you know, coming from the swag, you know, I didn't get a, a whole lot of publicity, but you know, uh, the CFL helped me to, to get noticed a little bit more, and you know, and it helped me to get the opportunity I I have now. How proud were you when you won the Rookie of the Year award? I um, mean, it was, it was a great honor. I know it was a lot of uh, good rookies in the CFL, and I, I'm just, you know, I was just blessed to uh, be able to receive the award. Martel, any any other sniffs from from the NFL, whether it was you know last year before you went to Canada or or during the time in Canada or even before you signed with the Eagles? I mean, it just seems, you know, looking at the highlights, it's hard to believe that not any team, none of the thirty two teams, would take any shot at you whatsoever. Well, I, I had a, uh, some interest from a few teams, but you know, again with the uh, forty time, they they kind of um, back down. But like I said, I was able to regain gain my strength and bounce back and run a, a pretty a great 40 time and um you know and, and it all paid off and I'm, I'm here with the Eagles and I'm glad to be an Eagle. 
Martel Mount, the Eagles' newest running back. Congratulations. Welcome to Nassau. We'll talk to you down the road. All right. You have a good day. Thanks. You too, Martel. All right. And Martel Mount, again, the newest running back for the Eagles, formerly of the BC Lions, was the Canadian Football League's Player of the Year, now with the Philadelphia Eagles. That'll do it for this edition of In the Studio. I'm Chris McPherson.